Oh, my baby, I swear nobody will ever separate us. Hey, 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 you thief! My baby's arm. A doctor, a doctor, please! What's going on? What's all that noise? Please don't, don't hurt us anymore, I beg you. Glenda, where did you get that baby from? I lost my son due to my carelessness. That baby is not a real baby. It's a piece of bread. Hey, 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 you thief! Come back! Give me what you stole from me! Oh, my baby, I swear nobody will ever separate us. I wanted to come for you early, but that bad man wouldn't let me get close to the store. He threw me out every time I tried to come for you. Do you want to tell me something? No, please, don't be angry with me. I swear I wanted to come early, but I couldn't. Look, I brought you some milk to drink. Take it. I swear we're always going to be together. I'll never neglect you again. And you know what? Let's go for a walk. Come on, let's go. With you, careful! Sorry, I didn't see you. But don't you realize I have a baby in my arms? Please forgive me. How is your baby? Look what you did! My baby's arm! A doctor! A doctor, please! Miss, this is not a baby, it's bread. What's wrong with you? Why do you have that? I thought it was a real baby. Of course, this is my baby! Didn't you hear? I need a doctor! A doctor! M Miss, please calm down. I don't understand anything. This is not a real baby, for God's sake. You don't understand. Give me that. <sighs> What's wrong with this woman? I have to find out. She probably needs help. Forgive me for allowing you to be hurt. I'm a very bad mother. But look, your arm is all better. I promise no one will ever touch you again. You're the most important thing to me. No one will ever hurt you again, I swear. Finally, I found you. I've been looking for you everywhere. Please don't, don't hurt us anymore, I beg you. I don't want to hurt you. I promise I'm a good person. What I want is to help you. So tell me, how is your baby's arm doing? Well, better. I sewed it up with a little bit of thread. It feels better now. Look at him. He's even smiling. I see. Your son is very cute. Tell me, what's your name? My name is Glenda, and my son's name is Daniel. He's only three months old. That's why he's so small, he's very delicate. No one can touch him. I understand. I heard you apologizing earlier. Well, you see, this baby you see here is not three months old. No, no, he's... Oh, Older, I lost him years ago because of my carelessness. That's why I was apologizing until I found him, but a bad man wanted to take him away. He was in a display case like he was just any old thing. But from now on, I'm going to take care of him and I won't allow anyone to hurt him. He's the most important thing I have in my life. Ma'am, I'm a psychologist. I can help you. But why would I want that if I'm not crazy? No, no, I'm not saying that you're crazy. In fact, you seem like a very intelligent person to me. But it wouldn't hurt to talk to me about your past, what happened to your baby. Well, if you want, I can tell you. Come with me. Let's go to the office. It's not far from here. And why would we go with you if we don't know you? I already told you, I'm a good person. What I want is to help you. Besides, it wouldn't hurt to get it off your chest, to let out everything you're carrying. Plus, you seem hungry. First, I'll get some food to you and your son, so you can trust me a little more. After that, we can go to the office. Is that okay with you? Well, actually, I am hungry because I spent all the money I had on meal for my baby. Okay, 
Then let's go. Let's go. Okay, so tell me, why did you tell me that about your son? Tell me what happened. I lost my son due to my carelessness. He was only three, three months old and I had never taken out. That day, I wanted to take a walk and I left him for a moment on a bench and when I returned, he was gone. Someone had taken him. I searched and searched from everywhere, but I didn't find him. Years went by and I never heard anything about him. I understand. I understand what you're going through. It's very difficult to lose a loved one. But tell me, how do you feel holding that baby in your arms? Well, very happy. I finally found my son. I can't wait to get home and show him to my mom. I'm sure she'll be very happy. I don't want to keep telling you this, but Glenda, that baby is not a real baby. It's a piece of bread. But let me help you. Let me help you overcome that trauma in your life. I already told you this is my son. Why are you saying all the things to me? Why? I don't want to be here anymore. I better go. Wait, wait, wait. Take my card. Call me whenever you want. Please take it. It wouldn't hurt to have it. Mom, mom! What's going on? What's all that noise? I found him. I finally found him. What do you mean? Who? My son, mom. I found him. Glinda. Where did you get that baby from? For God's sake. What do you mean where? He's mine, mom. Look at him. Glenda, that's a bread shaped like a baby. Look at him, look. That's bread. What's happening to you, Glenda? Are you going to say the same thing too? I can't believe it. I thought you would be happy because you're my mom. But I see that you're just as jealous as that doctor. What doctor? What are you talking about? I'm completely lost. What do you mean? This doctor that thinks I'm crazy. Here, take this useless card that I don't need it. I'm going to my room. You know what? I'm really disappointed in your attitude. Oh my God. I never thought my daughter was so messed up. What is he doing here? Daughter, I called the psychologist. You need help. Here we go again. We are not here to judge you or make you angry. I just want you to listen to me, okay? It will be quick, I promise. Daughter, please sit down. Daughter, I just want your peace of mind. I want you to be happy, to be happy again. Your mom told me a little more in detail about what happened. It's all my fault. I will never forgive myself. You're not the only woman. You're not the only mother who has been through something like this. But I'm sure you will overcome all the past. I know that doll isn't real. I'm not crazy, but I like to think that it is. I'm trying to get over what happened to me. I don't understand why everyone judges me. When I saw the bread in the window, I don't know, I don't know, I brought back my happiness. But I repeat, I'm not crazy. No, daughter, we know that you're not crazy, but we need the doctor's help. We need therapy. Well, if you think that can help me, that's fine. Don't worry. You'll see that with my help, You'll move forward and be happy again. Thank you, doctor. Thank you for helping my daughter. There's nothing to thank for. Everyone is fighting their own battle. There are very hard traumas to overcome that take a long time and, above all, a lot of therapy. But not suffering is forever. Remember that there are good people who help us find happiness.